so hi guys uh, last lecture we see how to uh, design custom QML buttons in this lecture we will see how to design a custom combo box or we can say the drop down in QML so let's uh, get started with uh, to first we need to create uh, one file which is called the custom uh, combo box or drop down so let's uh, we add one file uh, we select the QML file uh, name is the custom drop down okay so i put it the drop down but in QML we can say call it the combo box okay so i'm putting the drop down so this is uh, we created one file and we need to import some of the library like first thing we need to import the control and uh, second thing we need to import the uh, layout okay so i imported the layout and third thing we need to import our custom like app style for using the colors and the font styles so i added this now i'm uh, using the combo box okay so combo box i added this and uh, the id of this combo box is a control so i added this control okay so this is the control and we need to provide uh, one model here so i am providing the model this is simple model like uh, uh, one two okay two and here three sorry three and four okay that's the model so let's see how it will uh, look like so i'm just commenting out uh, the sections we are previously written okay so just commenting out so here i'm using the custom box uh so we use uh, uh column layout column layout and uh, center in parent okay so i'm using here uh, our custom combo box custom drop down let's create a row layout here so we see initially two In here, spacing is uh, spacing is uh, okay. So these are two combo box. We can add a different different uh, model here, like we added here. So we can also change this different different model, and I can assign from here also. So and let's assign different model here. One second so this is a model assigned again let's change something like one two and three and this is the four okay this is the similar we can see how it will be here without modifying let's see the check and the changes This one looks good. This is this is the material style without designing like uh, modifying anything. Uh, we call it uh, the material style, or we can also use the fusion style. We can uh, we can add different different style. Let's uh, uh, check image and fusion and all material and all. Okay, just import uh, image control. Okay, so here I'm using the first uh, material and import uh, the uh, control and dot image in fusion and the fusion the latest version this and we also import some image in style control just uh, this one the image in style okay we added already the fusion so first if we comment this both and let's run So it will default uh, take as a material style
okay this one is the uh, default it will take the material style but if i comment it out this material and uh, use it here the uh, fusion so it will take the fusion style or maybe we need to include that header files uh, inside uh, um, the main.qml file if it will not reflect then okay this will not reflect it so we need to also add this file to here main.qml file because i'm not added here like i'm adding the fusion style so it will take a fusion and see the changes how it will behave in fusion So uh, it is in the present trend then we use uh, combo box uh, okay combo box here let's change so let's see well, I think we need to add the QT control uh, conf file so maybe after that uh, it will reflect so let's change uh, the QT control or conf file so configuration file we need to add this one I'm like and this is already add, added so what is the name of that conf this one the file name we need to add so let's uh, create the file qt configuration file add new and general uh, empty file and we put here this conf file okay we added this and we just copy paste this because it will take the material as a control so this one we added and i'm using here the style is material not uh, imagine which one uh, we using here like main.qml file so fusion so i'm just using the fusion style here not imagine and after that we use the that style okay so we can also uh, define here the color theme and all if we are using uh, any of the control like universal style or the material style so you can also define the themes that and all look it will change it and this if i added the imagine style that it will reflect on imagine okay so just i'm changing the imagine and let's run again and see how it will looks in imagine style this will change this here look it will looks quite good in imagine style so just i'm modifying this uh, so i'm putting this uh, imagine to the just uh, material style okay again and now i'm modifying this uh, like removing these lines imagine fusion and material and all so default is the material theme uh, it will use so just i'm uh, customizing this and uh, where i'm using uh, here also i'm putting the changes uh, some of the custom drop down and this this similarly so it will reflect in both of uh, them so i'm putting the control as a so this one I, i'm naming as a root uh, you can also the here control so i'm putting some height and width okay so implicit width uh, implicit uh, height is 55 or implicit implicit set and width so implicit width i am putting around the 300 okay so we also made uh, two property like we are applying uh, radius and the background color and the checked color checked color basically means like i'm clicking on that drop down and it will uh, change some color maybe if you can also keep the same check but let's make it uh, some uh, radius so i'm uh, naming as a radius property radius so here the value i'm applying initially is a 12 and now the second property is color type as a background okay background color so i am made it this background color and here i am put it this 
this color as in two A and two D and three six. Okay, so this is the general color we use also last time. So the next color we use the checked color. Okay, so checked color uh, the property tag which color and here the name I use the checked color. Okay, checked color. So here I'm using abstract dot background color okay so we take here from the app style dot background color okay pop-up background so i'm using the pop-up background because in combo box there have one pop-up to see the items okay so the second thing combo box we have the delegate because if we have the model then we also have the delegate so just i'm using the delegate property and inside the delegate i'm using the item delegate okay item delegate one of the control element which is the qt provided so i am using the uh, control delegate i am putting the name as a item delegate okay same same name we are putting here just a small letter the first one because it is mandatory to put the first name of id as a small letter so i am just putting the width width of uh, this as a root dot implicit uh, width or implicit height or I am putting also the height and height also the root dot implicit height okay so I am putting the root dot bit and, and also I am enabling the hover because if uh, we go to the drop down and be hovering the cursor so it will show some of sort of the colors on current uh, selected or current hover the item so just I am enable the hover so I am enable the hover too and focus also true because uh, we also navigate from the uh, key using the buttons so i just put uh, the delegate item delegate have the background some sort of the background so we need to apply here the uh, background color so i'm using the rectangle here so just putting the rectangle sorry background in background we put the rectangle inside the rectangle we apply some colors and radius so background what we need to apply here the color color uh, or base set of if uh, the item is over then we apply different color if item in constant then we apply the uh, non hover color okay so just if item delegate okay, item delegate dot hover so it will uh, return true false and if hover then we need to apply the background color okay so this one background color or root dot background color here i'm putting the name root dot background color if it is not then we i am applying here the transparent okay so i am applying here the transparent color and also i am filling this uh, uh, uh parent anchor dot fill uh, parent i'm filling the parent and also i'm applying sort of uh, radius radius is eight just i am putting the radius is eight here you can also provide the radius from uh, the we are uh, added here here so also the control dot radius uh, you can provide but uh, this is the delegate radius uh, because we'll see uh, the changes uh, whenever we run this uh, now we need to put uh, some labels and we now need to organize some sort of uh, like provide if icon or not so we also provide that icon because the tick which is the current item is uh, selected and we label the label or call it the delegate we provide the model so just uh, i am providing the label and also one image call it the tick so tick basically uh, like uh, which item are also selected which indicating that so let's uh, add one label here so i am using the label and uh, opacity i am taking the label is uh, 0 0.8 i think that's nine will take okay so text uh, should be the model data color model because when the delegate is running the that provide a, they have single uh, I, a single model like a single item model that they provide access the data via using the model data okay and also we can if you have multiple items and item list model which is previous lecture we shown the we can you can also design there custom model uh, in c++ also in the qml side 
so where i also use this model data dot properties so you can also directly but here i have only the one property uh, which is the model data so we are using this model data okay so uh, we need to provide some font okay so font or pixel size i added so font is uh, so i'm adding, adding app style and dot uh, the s3 okay so heading is 3 like font home like we see here we provided uh, some font style here uh, like h1 h2 and some font uh, family here so we just adding this font family here font style also here so i'm providing the color color of the label basically item is hover item uh, delegate uh, is hover then hover means that we provide the different color here so i'm uh, providing the white color okay so if uh, the current item is hover then the white color otherwise app style dot text color okay text color i apply here maybe it also i think the white let's check what happened and different so what we need to provide we need to maybe apply some layout or inside the we have layout layout is fill with row okay and the vertical alignment of this text image dot align vertical center okay so i'm uh, apply also you can apply the label if you have different item so layout dot alignment qt dot align vertical center okay vertical center and layout also applying sub left margin so i'm applying this margin is 10 okay so we added this uh, text field here so now what we need to add one uh, i'm adding one uh, which is called the current item selected indicator uh, like tick mark so just i'm putting the air image so the image uh, we put and uh, their source so source is uh, which one i uh, like tick so this one is the source we put this image let's see what this image is this is the tick character style here yeah, this one so that will indicating the current item is selected so we need to add uh, the visibility otherwise it will uh, visual on the each and every layout so uh, we need to add visibility here in visibility section what we need to add here the root f root dot current item current item or current index or current index equal to equal to the index okay index this is the index of the delegate and this is the index of the combo box okay so if this uh, both are uh, equal then only it will show other than it will be visible false okay so uh, we need to add also this image as alignment so vertical alignment so image dot uh, uh, align vertical center align vertical center and horizontal also horizontal alignment alignment image dot align horizontal uh, horizontal alignment align right and not align align right so the right side we show this okay and uh, i also provide the layout layout dot align empty dot align vertical center and some sort of uh, property also apply like uh, we need to apply here the uh, layout dot right margin maybe uh, because here we apply the left margin it will swing uh, to the right side right side so we need to apply some right margin also so layout dot right margin right margin i am applying the 10 okay so this will uh, okay here this will the image and uh, this is the delegate so what we need to uh, do here Okay. So uh, we added here, but uh, what we need to do here, uh, we have the content property. These are we implemented, but uh, we are not added inside this layout. So uh, this will not creating the layout. So I'm. Uh, just forget to here the putting the row layout so i'm putting the row layout because we insert the row layout and they both have so i'm just put it and just uh, indent it there 
and you see there is a router uh, some sort of alignment so layout dot alignment qt dot align vertical center okay so we put this vertical center and also we put some height and width uh, parent dot width okay parent dot uh, width and height parent dot height okay parent dot height so I'm putting the parent dot height and and you can also fill use fill in. you can also fill and just keep it one if this one or this one and not uh, I need to apply in both of them and just I'm putting the spacing between the uh, label and the image is 10 so I just put the layout dot left margin left margin left margin I'm applying 10 and layout dot height margin I also pick it 10 okay so this is create the lay row layout row layout inside the row layout left side the uh, level and right side this icon as well okay so that's all uh, in delegate uh, the model is uh, provided and then and the delegate will work let's run and see what uh, further changes we need to do here After that, uh, we also need to implement uh, uh, the this one look uh, this one showing and current and some of it will swing then able to assign some property. So, but yeah, we need to implement that if it is working or not. Look, this will so where it will swing the pixel is at three app style not app style we need to apply font style okay so let's see so the error is gone but uh, some sort of uh, here also we need to implement where the pop-up is visible or what the uh, next color we need to put because it is the background also showing the white and text also showing the white that's why the visibility is gone maybe that's a similar color so we need to change the pop-up style and pop-up where pop-up need to show okay so here we also change in this uh, so delegate will work so we need to implement uh, the uh, here indicators also the content item and the background so first we need to implement the background so it will show the properly so i'm just implementing the background inside the background i'm using the rectangle in in rectangle i'm applying some sort of implicit width and height of that okay so this is uh, we are applying here similar and this implicit width implicit height of that rectangle okay so we apply this and also i'm applying the color here color what we need to apply here if root dot down okay root dot down then what a what color it will show duty dot darker color so darker duty dot darker and darker which color with need to check the root dot check it color okay check it color how much darker is 1.2 else which color root dot check it color okay check it color so this is the background color we and radius we need to apply here radius dot uh, root dot radius this one the radius we apply here and border dot width border dot width i am applying here the root dot active focus active focus then we need to apply two else 0 0.6 okay so border dot color however we need to implement here border dot color if root dot active then not activate active color active focus then we need to apply f dot style put f dot style dot f style color okay other than what we need to implement here f style dot border color okay border color so i'm implementing this so okay anything we not 
to implement here just uh, implemented the background okay now we need to implement the content item content item means which is just showing inside the box okay how it will look like so we need to implement this content item so i am implementing the here the content items of this content item okay so in your content item we are putting the item simply so with the should be uh, the root dot to background dot width root dot background dot width minus the root dot indicator indicator dot width minus and because we putting some indicator to show up and down here and height should be root dot background height root dot background dot height okay so this one and i'm putting here the row layout so in future if you want, uh, want to adding i want to add some sort of so just i'm putting this uh, simply copy pasting this and after that we modify this so enter dot fill parent okay fill parent and spacing should be at 10 till now i'm just putting the label only okay label only so which thing we need to modify here i'm just putting and uh, the pixel size which is three simple and root dot display text so root dot display text uh, the property of the combo box inside the display text so we are putting the display text because this is the daily uh, content item which is the shown on the top of that uh, drop down okay so layout dot fill with true and layout dot alignment is vertical center and align vertical center okay so left margin i apply 10 and the color we need to remove from the hair because it not depend on the hover okay so i remove this let's run and see and we also need to implement the pop-up here okay and the indicator also because till now we not implemented any indicator so this is uh, the style is shown here uh, one two because this is the indicator shown here and this is the color of that uh, uh, label is shown here so we need to change the and this uh, pop-up also we need to implement implement and after that we change this color according to the dark and light theme so we made this white so after that it will show uh, white okay so let's check change here i am putting on the pop-up okay so pop-up uh, inside the pop-up we need to implement uh, like control dot pop-up so we provide here the uh, control dot pop-up so we add pop-up this one and the by should be and the below of that uh, content item okay so root dot height root dot height okay height plus two means under just below of two uh before uh, uh below like uh, just putting the below margin or two the rooted height of uh, the content item height and two is the extra height so just show below the exact below uh not exactly below uh, the content item just uh, put the two height okay so i'm putting this and uh, width should be root dot implicit width root dot implicit width okay the width should be implicit width we just uh, like uh, fix uh, if uh, implicit width greater than 250 then put it 250 only not increase after that just 250 uh, keep it uh, fixed if content item height uh, less than uh, like 250 then keep it so otherwise the content item content item dot implicit okay height so this is we made the changes here implicit height okay so what we need to put here the secondly so i made the changes in pop-up and i'm adding padding okay padding is four so uh, it will show the margin a little bit margin and 
left right top and bottom so just content item and we have the content item inside the pop-up and we use the list view okay so list view for delegating and list view have the delegate so left margin I, I apply here left margin because uh, without anchor we can use left margin inside the list view so left margin is five okay five and implicit height implicit height should be the content height content height we apply and navigation enable in navigation so we can enable uh, like navigate via the keyboard so navigation level true and we provide the model here because list model also take the model so model is the, the root dot uh, dot pop up dot uh, visual then we apply the root dot delegate model dot dot delegate model okay else we provide nav okay otherwise no need to provide the model so we provide the null and we uh, click it true uh, so if we uh, move up and down or using the scroll bar so this will not visible outside the pop-up okay so we made the focus also for navigating the button using and current item current index sorry root dot highlighted index highlighted index okay so current index which is select the highlighted index means uh, the selected item which is already selected in combo box so it will directly select uh, when we open the uh, pop-up it will select uh, that uh, item already like selected in combo box okay so we done this content item and after that we need to implement the background of uh, this pop-up okay so it will look so good so we apply the rectangle here inside the rectangle we need to put uh, anchor dot fill anchor dot fill parent okay so we are uh, like filling the pop-up and color should be the app, uh, app style dot uh, pop-up background uh, which uh, we have the pop-up background this one background color okay so i apply this pop-up background and the radius should be six okay and border dot width 0.6 and border dot color dot dot color if you don't want then just remove these lines okay so i'm applying the border dot color here and click through this also okay so i apply this uh, the background and here uh, we just need to just uh, uh, add the indicator okay if you're not uh, adding the indicator it will take in the default indicator we are taking the indicator because we need to uh, like change the color okay so maybe it looks good okay now it will looking good one if we select two uh, this will not be visible because uh, maybe the color uh, issue okay so if we select three and four and one okay so this is the uh, maybe some sort of problem here so where it will not showing the uh, showing here so the problem in not content item yeah i am making the color here the white it's hard code just i'm hard coding so here i'm making the color white and also uh, where the we changes the color here the text color here i'm making this so uh, in hover like if you put the hover here like it will show the top but the selected color not showing so selected color while not showing inside the delegate item uh, this is the hover color else we need to put this color so here some sort of visibility we apply i think not and the tick mark all is still not showing so i think we need to uh, the put uh, their the pop-up width also change so let's see uh, if we apply the visibility or sort of something no we are not applying here uh, so just i'm 
not putting this uh, over means the text color is so let's see the text color what is the text color should also the white and then why it will not showing something that selected uh, yes at all so let's check maybe somebody made it the mistake here let's see what the mistake we made so let's check and this yeah uh, yeah this one showing now uh, white but here the selected item will not shown right so what we need to do uh, we check why selected uh, item not shown here so over enable uh, okay first of all we need to check in the uh, pop up bit we apply here the wrong pop up bit we need to apply the height okay um, bit should be uh, same so we apply the implicit height implicit height this is the implicit height but bit should be the different bit bit i am applying here root dot implicit bit implicit bit into 1.6 okay 1.26 so this is the implicit width we are making so yeah this one uh, we apply here and now i am saying the delegate uh, model i am using okay so height uh, i made it the uh, correct and the delegate item also so delegate model delegate model will uh, delegate this property and this property uh, by showing not showing and the selected item so we are not uh, made it any visibility related so this one i made it here only in tick mark only and not us so let's see how it will behave why it not showing uh, or uh, maybe sort of uh, the margin issue or something so let's check uh, what the issue we made it here okay so the total like not showing this uh, we also the delegate bit also not showing okay so we need to check uh, what mistake we made here so let's just get uh, this one and uh, background also we made uh, okay no issue with the background but uh, color we made here check it color check it color if root dot down okay so here i am also using the root dot implicit bit and applying the right margin here but not showing this so let's the debug i uh, not showing uh, the issue also not showing here and the visibility are not showing model data this will coming through this and still not showing let's check how we made a mistake here
height and place at height and place at height also so content item here we made it the content item okay it's not root dot height okay so here i'm putting in s3 1.26 Six. Okay, and the height should be a two and background implicit width, implicit height, qt dot dark pair, check it color. Okay, and the radius we put it here and app style, border style. Now, here we also added the content item, content item. No issue with that, but the issue may be related to delegate or the background so let's check the background background also i'll check it the background is correct so content item there is no issue with that and uh, let's check uh, what the issue with that uh, level we apply here three and the display text we are, uh, apply here so we are not apply the display text inside yeah content item the display text but here we apply you need to apply the model data so model data is correct opacity also correct item delegate uh, should be a white other than text color so both of the white and fill with blue so where uh, we made the mistake uh, don't know left margin is facing parent dot with uh, and here also i'm not making any mistake okay so this is the background color and delegate we need to provide here the width is 1.2 okay so this is what we added and radius implicit width height and up dot height and the pop-up background so let's check the stick uh, the whole content not showing inside the why not showing this i don't know why not let's just check this actually so i'm just uh, removing this background okay this is the uh, pop-up background so i'm removing this hover from the here yeah, like visibility false your false okay let's check what happened now maybe the problem with this uh, transparent or something like that so it will create the problem no 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 so not creating the problem the background the problem is related to this uh, delegate only over an able true and this will not visual why not is visual So all data is gone. I think the problem is creating this.
the image is creating the problem so what the problem is creating we need to uh, so okay so that's uh in this video we created the combo box different different combo box here so let's uh, add different different model here while this will not uh, working here we added something our own root dot current index equal to equal to index so it will not show but it will not show so okay that's not problem we'll uh, see update in next video why it will not work so let's add a uh, different different style like uh, Akshay, uh, qt developer qt developer okay and you have the c plus plus style c plus plus style okay for the something that okay remove drop down okay drop down okay, and also change different different style okay such as times uh, adding here let's run this and see the changes this will work fine okay this will run it depend on which one is select is even style okay so let's uh, add uh, uh, more here the spacing so like 400 okay if we add the 400 then maybe it will uh, like go down and above depending on what we made it So you can apply different different uh, model here and also apply uh, sort of okay so this is uh, we created and and you can customize uh, according to your need so we use we create one project uh, and further we use these component we are adding till now so that's all in this lecture thank you guys